Good morning. There's still the signs of a change with our weather as we approach the weekend. Things getting milder, but unfortunately wet and windy. For today, it's a different story. It's going to be a brighter day, maybe glimpses of sunshine, but yes, it will be a bitterly cold one still across the country. Now, as we speak, we could see the potential for some holes in the cloud across the extreme northeast here. Lows in rural spots, minus 8 to minus 10 degrees, but generally speaking, not quite as cold. A cloudy, grey night. And that means widespread ice and some freezing fog patches, a problem first thing. Down into the southwest, temperatures may well be just above freezing, but it is going to be a cold start where you've got lying snow rather treacherous out underfoot yet again, even on untreated roads as well. It could be pretty icy indeed. As we push further north, you can see bitterly cold start again. For Northern Ireland, perhaps already starting to see some breaks in the cloud and some brightness coming through, an indication of what to expect. Cold in Scotland, widespread ice, an issue here as well. Now, throughout the day, a quieter day. We lose that risk of snow showers that we've seen just recently. We could get the cloud breaking up, some sunny spells coming through. Temperatures will recover a little, but again, it's still going to be quite cold out there. Perhaps the best of the sunshine again into Northern Ireland with four degrees the high. Similar story down into the southwest, but generally those temperatures still hovering just a degree or so above freezing. But we start to see that cold air diminish a little as this weather front pushes in from the Atlantic. It's going to bump into the cold air and produce a bit of a headache as it does so just to how much snow we could see on it. So as it bumps into the cold air, yes, there'll be some snow for a time, then turning back to rain, a strong southerly wind accompanying it as well. It stays cold through central and eastern areas and mostly dry during daylight hours. The rain and snow arriving a little later on. Now, there is some uncertainty as to how much snow we'll see as this system starts to push through. So keep watching the weather forecast if you are concerned. It looks as though the most snow we'll see is further north with 5 to 10 centimetres, perhaps not quite as much down into the south. But as I say, there is a potential for this to change. So keep watching the weather. Now that frontal system clears through on Saturday, a quieter day in prospect, the milder air winds through. And then on Sunday, we've got another system moving in, bringing some wet and windy weather. So just look at the temperatures Saturday into Sunday. We'll see highs of around 8 or 9 degrees. But yes, there will be some rain accompanied by some strong winds as well. Be careful what you wish for. Take care.